Welcome back. It is Friday. It's good Friday. And we are going into Easter weekend. We actually have... Why are we doing this? Oh, no, not this. No, no, no. I will spread it. It's so loud. Crying Stop. Face, praying gesture, Stop. Praying... Okay, there we go. Uh, it is Easter weekend. I'm leaving that in. It's Easter weekend. And uh, we actually have an event for it. You can get a free opal if you do all of these dunks. So go ahead and do your agendas. Make sure you do this before the end of the weekend. And uh, yeah, you get a free opal. So you do the ball drop and you can trade these golden eggs in as well for deluxe packs and stuff like that. Like this is actually a good event, but for some reason only lasts three days. I'm not sure why they would do that. They should have made it last a whole week or they should have started it early this week. Um, but in terms of the cards that dropped today, we have a hundred overall Magic Johnson who isn't real. Uh, Adam Morrison who isn't real. He's kind of real. Mellow. Tyler Hansbro looks really, really good. I saw his jump shot. Um, again, these opals, let's see what the, the odds are. They're probably like, yeah, 17%. No, not 17%. Jesus, that's Pink Diamond. 3% for opals. Not high at all. But again, uh, you're not really going to see them. Unless you see someone who uh, spent like three, dollars $400 on packs. And then you're playing them on Unlimited, which of course you are going to see them. But Shane Battier looks really good. Uh, I love Shane Battier's Sapphire shot, and they sped it up from normal to very quick. Danny Ferry got a completely new shot. Brandon Miller is on very quick. Uh, the Pink Diamonds, who are the only cards that you can actually buy today. Uh, of them, I think Kirk Heinrich looks really good. Yes, yes, huh? Rafe looks really good. I'm not sure about uh, Steve Blake or Nyang, but Joe Kim looks solid on defense. He's really the only center we got today uh, besides Chet. I wouldn't really play uh, Psycho T at the five, but Shane Battier, all of the Opals really do look good. So I would say if you are going to uh, rip packs and you're close to locking in for this, it might be worth it. But the again, 84K, 84K, I think they're, yeah, roughly pushing about 400K for a single Opal and you would pull, I guess you could pull a Dark Matter, but all the opals look pretty solid. I would say this is probably the best one to lock in if you are going to lock in for the random opal on the equal chance pack. But this is the plan for today. We're gonna rip 40 packs. We are going to rip our first 20 box with VC. I have some VC left over from last week. Uh, try to spend as little MT or little money as possible. And then uh, I'll quick sell whatever cards I need to get the second 20 box and that'll be with MT. So. I appreciate you guys. Like the video if you haven't already, and we are going to get into this. Subscribe to, subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me on Twitch. We do these every Friday. So let's go ahead. First box. Come on, man. First box has a shake. It's not a wobble. We're looking for the wobbles today, man. I'm looking for the for the wobbly wobbles. That's a diamond. I don't want diamonds. Diamonds are bad. <clears throat> Felony Morant. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. <clears throat> All right, pack number two. And I'm going to guess... Chat, what's the over-under on opals for this box? One and a half, one and a half opals. Our first 20 box last week was two opals and then we didn't pull anything. I'm calling, I'm calling one opal out of this box. That is a ruby. <laughs> 50 Easter packs, zero golden eggs is actually terrible. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry you have to go through that. Pack number four. No, five, Never mind. We're on five and we're getting a gold card. I love gold cards. These are my favorites. Okay, pack number six, an emerald. Hey, that's a little better. <coughs> Matherin. This is no better than my unlimited box that I opened the other day. Gold card in the middle. Very nice, very nice. I love to see it. And that is an amethyst in the middle. At least that can go to the to the exchange, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. There, we're finally getting a, another shake. Okay. Can we get our first pink diamond? Or will it be a troll? Okay. 
It'll be a pink diamond. Hopefully it's like Rafe LaFrance. Rafe LaFrance is probably, no, this is Kirk Heinrich. I will take a Kirk Heinrich. I was actually pretty interested in this card. His shot looks pretty good. I think he has KCP base. So not bad. He's 6'4", uh, but my point guards are pretty filled out. Kirk Heinrich looks pretty good though. Okay, another shake, back-to-back -back shakes. Can I get a, can I get an opal glow? That'd be pretty nice. That is a pink diamond. Rafe LaFrance, please, or honestly, I'd take a Kirk Heinrich dupe. That is Rafe LaFrance, right? Yes, sir. Why are you off center? Whatever. His jump shot is really, really nice. I loved his emerald at the start of the year, uh, back when everyone was enjoying 2K24. Uh, but yeah, Rafe LaFrance, welcome, welcome, welcome. That is two out of five for that lock-in. I would not be. This is the one, right? This is the one. This Surely this is not another pink diamond. Surely this is an opal. That's a pink diamond. Don't be a duplicate. Give give me new cards. That's a duplicate Kirk Heinrich. That at least funds the next box. That's fine. We can go ahead and keep moving forward. I haven't gotten a hollow, like significant hollow card in a while. So maybe we get like a hollow something today. That'd be pretty cool. And man, what's good, man? That is a diamond. I really don't care. Nice Jimmy Butler. You will do excellently in the exchange that I'm going to throw you in for an Emerald card. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 12 packs in. We've got three pink diamonds. One was a dupe. And we're seeing another shake. You brought the luck with you. I hope you did. Okay, another pink diamond, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Give me something I don't already have, please, so I don't have to, uh, that's another dupe. No, it's not, that's a joke, Kim Noah. So we are three out of five, and hopefully we'll be able to lock in for one of these opals, because again, the opals this week are really good, in my opinion, and you only have to lock in five pink diamonds. So if you are going to, to open any packs, and you get lucky and you pull most of the cards, it's really not a bad deal. Again, I'm not happy that you can't buy opals from, from the player market, but, you know, I have to deal with it. That is another pink diamond. Okay. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? I am missing... I, I forget the, the two guys I'm missing. Nyang and the other point guard. I think it was Steve Blake. But he saw center and said, said dupe. Yes, I did. That is another Kirk Heinrich. So I have two Kirk Heinrich dupes. <clears throat> not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm thinking... What I might do with one of those cards, depending on the sell value, is throw him in the deluxe exchange because I have two of them. So we'll see. No shakes on pack 15, and it is a gold card. Isaiah Stewart, how is he still in the league? Didn't he like commit attempted murder on someone? Allegedly. <laughs> nice Sapphire. Darvin Ham, how do you still have a job? All right, there's a shake on pack 17. Give us our first opal. That'd be delicious. That is a pink diamond. I'll take it. Uh, give me... I forget what his name is. Eastern point guard. That is another Kirk Heinrich. We have three or four of them. I think we have four. We only punched him in the face. Yeah, yeah. It was real bad, though. Okay, nice, like, fourth Kirk Heinrich. I guess I'll take more dupes. That's cool. That's cool. I'll take it. No shake on pack 18. The prediction was wrong. Nishan Highland. Ice gold card. Definitely going to use him in one of my lineups, LOL. There's another pink diamond. How many pink diamonds do I have this box? Seven? <clears throat> Give me a different card. I'm just missing... George Niang. I, I just... Okay, so I'm four out of five. I am four out of five on these cards. That is really good, actually. Pulling, like, all the pink diamonds in one box. Except for the 20th pack. So, so four out of the five pink diamonds. Three out of five. No, it's four out of five. It's four out of five. It is four out of five. Kirk Heinrich sells for 33K. So I could... First of all, I gotta, I gotta add Kyrie 
to the Bracket Busters Exchange. <clears throat> and then, Franz, you really don't do anything. So, Kirk Heinrich, I guess I could throw him in here for a Bracket Busters Deluxe. I might go ahead and do that. Uh, that's not a bad idea, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to do that. I'm just going to throw him in here. You definitely don't exchange, or do you? I'm throwing one in there. So I'm still getting 70K. I'm still getting 70K from that box, which is, a nu which is enough to get our MT box. So that is 20 packs down. And like I said, we are four out of five to lock in for this opal so that's not like any of these opals and of course the dark matters are great uh i would really like shane battier danny fairy's shot looks really good at least on paper chet is great tyler hansbro i saw on twitter his jump shot looks super super fast and brandon miller's a 6'9 shooting guard on very quick so he looks pretty good um i'd be happy with any of these cards really i would love a chet holmgren but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and let me check the exchange real quick because I think I want to do this. I want to go ahead and add that ruby because I, I, I definitely can add a different one. Uh, and in terms of the pink diamonds, yeah, I don't have a series two pink diamond. Okay, so I would have to scrape for that, but that's, you know, that's a deluxe pack. Um, chance at an opal. So let's get our second 20 box, man. This is gonna run me dry. Please like that video if you haven't. Uh, let's go. Please, please give me an opal. Pack number one is not great. Kyle Lowry, BBL himself. Pack number two is a ruby. At least you go the exchange, so that's an extra pack for me. Nice Wemby. Pulling Wemby last week would have been nice. I am super outdated on centers. Nice emerald is Michael Porter Jr. Man, these packs are not looking not looking too good. Jock Landale. Chad is saying pack 11. This is a ruby. Oh, I forgot the... Yeah, they added a bunch of duos this week too, which isn't bad for salary cap speaking of salary cap hondo is really good and speaking of these packs why am i six through without a shake this is, there's got to be an opal in this box surely i don't even know how to say your name buddy <clears throat> seven packs through no shake i'm getting really scared now i'm starting to get scared chris middleton very nice Are we serious? Eight packs, no shake. Are we serious? Are we serious? Pack number nine, surely there's something here. If I hadn't already told you not to buy these packs, stay away from these packs. Lock in for the opal, just buy the, buy the pink diamonds straight up. Oh, nice Tatum, cool. Yeah, that's fine. That is crazy, actually. We're joking. We're joking, right? Zero shakes, 10 packs into this box. There has to be an opal on this on this box. Otherwise, this, this is one of the worst boxes I've had. This is horrendous. 11 packs in. I mean, we might as well go for the no hitter at this point, right? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. We are 12 packs in and we have not gotten a card from the set. I mean, surely. Oh, for 13. Surely there's something here. Oh, a pink diamond makes up for it all. Thank you. Very nice. 
is not the card I need. That is not the card I need. I need uh, George Nian. <laughs> Alright, 14 packs in, we finally got a shake. <laughs> I finally got something for the promo. <laughs> Definitely not upset about that. Empty box, that's true. Oh my lord, dude. This is sad. I went 30 straight today with no shakes. Bro, my first box I ripped with VC, I got like seven, eight pink diamonds. And then this one is just one. A gold? Dog. Are we serious? Are we serious? This is such an unserious box. 17% odds? At a pink diamond? Really? Are we serious? There's no way. There's absolutely no chance. There's zero chance that just happened. <laughs> All your luck was on the first box. I, it better be. I spent money on that. Oh, wow. That was a good box. Yeah. Really good box. Nodders. Nodders. Hey, we got another pack chat. LOL. <laughs> Keck W. Um... That makes me never want to open packs again. Oh my god, that was horrible. Let's keep putting money into the game, though. Absolutely. Yeah, I never encourage putting money into the game. I only did it because I didn't have uh, MT to spend on packs. This is horrendous. Why Why is this a thing? Might as well lock in cards at least get an open no balls. Uh, I want to, but I don't have the MT for it, actually. <clears throat> he has no MT. Exactly. Exactly. I could add that there, but that's 42k. Why would I do that? Um. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Add to exchange. Do I have anything here? I guess I could do that. That's better than nothing, since I have... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. Yeah, just sell it. Just sell it, just sell it, just sell it. Say goodbye to Jason Kidd. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. See, the thing is... Surely I'm pulling an opal out of this. Isn't the dark side of pack ripping? Yeah, when you do it for free, you get nothing. <clears throat> nice gold player. Well, like I said, don't open these packs. They are horrendous. Uh, the cards look good. Don't open these packs. Definitely don't buy VC. Um, yeah, first box. Great, great, awesome. But again, that was with VC. So if you buy VC, uh, you know, maybe you'll do okay. But I did not get this card, which means I can't lock in for this because I would have to pay for it. Um, I would have to sell something. I don't even know what I'd sell. I don't even know what I'd sell. But really, I could uh, I could get most of my MT back. 33, 40, 33. I really can't get a lot of MT back because the sell values are really good. Anyway, like the video. I love you guys. Sell something and lock for the content bomb. We write there, content, content, content. Let me see what I could lock. Let me see what I could do. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Can't sell Oscar. That was brutal. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> you're telling me, buddy. I guess I could sell, sell Sean Marion. He's 84k. Um, I could sell Jason Kidd. I do have D Wade now. <clears throat> I do like Jason Kidd a lot. But I think I gotta get rid of them. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? Jason Kidd gets out the lineup because I have an unsellable Wade. Sell Kidd, you won't. Okay. 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 
fine fine for content for content purposes and because i love you and because i hate myself we're doing this <clears throat> so last pack surely there's something good here right Three, two, one, go. You know, Opal's fine. I'm really hoping for Chet. Psycho T would be fine too, but I have fours. Brandon Miller. I don't want Brandon Miller. Give me Chet. Three, two, one, go. Let's go into Opal. LOL. Small forward. That's Danny Ferry, right? Nope, that's Brandon Miller. Uh, is he okay? He's a 6'9 shooting guard. That's not terrible. It is not terrible. Don't flex. You have chicken arms. You are really, really skinny. It's concerning. He should eat something. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this pack opening. Um, it hurt my soul, but I hope it was entertaining. Um, drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitch. It is Eggnog King, all one word. We stream pack openings every Friday. And, uh, yeah. Subscribe if you're not already. We will be back for another pack opening. Whether it hurts me, kills me, you know, whatever. It's bad. Don't open packs, please. They're really, really horrendous. Just just watch Troy Dan. Watch me. Like, spend money. Don't spend your own money, please. It's terrible. But uh, I will catch you guys over on Twitch. Anyway, peace.